At Sage, we safeguard your security, value your privacy, and uphold the highest standards of data ethics. To continue to keep your business safe from cyber attacks and fraud, we've added an extra layer of security. This is two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA. Once set up, you'll be required to enter a six-digit code each time you log in. However, for added convenience, your Sage product can remember you for 30 days. This means you only enter the verification passcode again once the 30-day period has lapsed. Let's set up 2FA. The setup process is easy and there are two options to choose from. Using an authenticator app or receiving a code to your phone. If you would like to use an app, we recommend Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator and Authy. When choosing an authenticator app, look for one that offers secure backups. Here at Sage, we use the Microsoft Authenticator app. The setup process will differ slightly depending on which app you choose. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll use the Microsoft Authenticator app. When you log into your Sage account, you'll be prompted to set up two-factor authentication. To continue with the setup, click here. We'll show you this using an app first. Then, with a text or phone call later in this video. In this example, I already have Microsoft Authenticator installed. Start by opening your Authenticator app. Follow the on-screen steps for your chosen app. Then scan the QR code. Once connected, the app will provide you with a six-digit code. If you can't scan the QR code, you can enter a unique code instead. Please note this code is temporary and after a short time, the code will regenerate. You should always enter the most up-to-date code. Enter your code here, then click continue. Next, you'll be given a recovery code. You'll need this if you want to log in in the future, but do not have access to your Authenticator app. Copy this and keep it somewhere safe. This is a one-time use code. Once used, you will be given a new code. Remember to take a note of the new code each time you are given one. Select the checkbox to indicate you have saved your code and then click continue. Let's move on to setting up using a text or phone call. When you're prompted to set up two-factor authentication, click here. A prompt appears, explaining the two ways to verify. To continue, click phone. Select your country code and then enter your phone number in the box provided. Choose which method you'd like to use here. To move on, click continue. Enter the six-digit code provided by text or phone call in this box. Then click continue. Next, you will be given a recovery code. Copy this and keep it somewhere safe. Select the checkbox to indicate you saved your code and click continue. Once you have set up 2FA, log into your Sage account with your verification code. We'll show you this now. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll log into Sage Accounting with 2FA set up on Microsoft Authenticator. Enter your login credentials as usual. Then click login. You'll receive an automatic prompt asking for your six-digit code. How you set up 2FA will determine how you receive your code. If you require a different verification method, click here. If you chose to authenticate by phone or text, you will receive your code to your phone. If you used an app, access the app on your device to retrieve your six-digit code. Select this checkbox if you would like to be remembered on this device for the next 30 days, meaning you do not need to enter a verification code each time you log in. To complete the verification and log in, click Continue. You've now logged in using two-factor authentication. We will be automatically enabling and mandating 2FA for all users accessing a Sage product with their Sage account.